Okay, we're going to try to derive the sentence not B or C from the following three assumptions. The first assumption is going to be if A, then not B or C. The second one is going to be B or D, then A. And the third one is going to be D. And these are going to be our primary assumptions. So now, whenever we're starting a derivation, we want to ask ourselves the following question. Does my target sentence, the thing I'm trying to derive, appear anywhere as a component in one of my primary assumptions? And the answer to the question in this case is, yes, it does, right here. Now, when that happens, the most likely path to success for this derivation is to try to derive our target sentence by eliminating the main logical connective in the sentence in which it appears. So in this case, what we're going to try to do is eliminate this material conditional here so that we can get not B or C. So we can anticipate that our derivation is going to end with a sentence not B or C, and more importantly, that we're going to derive this by using line one and some other line to eliminate the condition. Okay, so now we just ask ourselves the following question. What sentence do we need to complete the elimination for the material conditional? And the answer is we're going to need to have the sentence A. And the reason for that is because if we had A and we had our primary assumption here, with those two sentences we could eliminate the material conditional and get our original target sentence, not B or C. So our job now just becomes to try to figure out how do we get this sentence A. And we ask exactly the same question. Does the sentence A appear anywhere in our primary assumptions as a component of one of those sentences? And the answer here is of course yes. There it is. And so we can get A from line to and some other line if we had the antecedent of this material conditional. So in other words, if we had, before we had A, if we had the sentence B or D, then we could have the sentence, we could derive the sentence A from this line B or D here and this conditional. And so now we just, again, ask the same question that we've been asking all along. Does the sentence B or D appear anywhere in my assumptions? Now the answer to this question is no, uh, because B or D doesn't appear in our assumptions, but the sentence D does. And that makes things very simple because it means that we can introduce this disjunction to create this sentence. And that completes the derivation, in fact, because we can write down line 4 is going to be B or D, and that's going to come from line 3 by disjunction introduction. And then line 5 is going to be A, which is going to be from line 2 and 4 by conditional elimination. And then line 6 is going to be not B or C from lines 1 and 5 by conditional elimination. And that's how you can work backwards and then forwards to complete a simple derivation.